Yeah, what you need there. Welcome! Here we are at song and story segment. Remember to text in to let us know that you're here so we can give you a shout out. 260-593-1983. Again, I'll say it slower so Miguel can translate it. 260-593-1983. And here's the question of the week. This, is, this makes you kind of sort back in what you've already learned. Stephen's last words, and no shouting out responses with this, okay, you two? Yep. Stephen's last words before he dies in, in today's story are, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And I wonder if you can think of another story that that reminds you of. You have to search back for that one. But I bet first, you can figure it out. Yeah, I think you probably can. First, here's your sing along with Matthew and Hannah. Hey, good morning, boys and girls, moms and dads. And we're back again. Boy, it seems like these weeks really fly by, don't they? You got to be here recording and see how fast they fly by. Today, we're going to start out with, a, with another uh, Suderman song. When you learn to follow Jesus, you act a little strange. This was a funny one because when we used to do this in Sunday school, I sometimes would invite Malachi Yoder up because he liked this song. And he would get up and do these silly things because the, the, the strange part, they have you do weird things in the song. But really the song is about a different kind of strange and that is the way that people who follow Jesus look compared to uh, some other people because of what uh, Jesus has taught us to how to act in the Bible. So that's what the song is really about. But we all have fun with it, right? Oh, when you learn to follow Jesus, you will act a little strange, act a little strange, act a little strange. When you learn to follow Jesus, you will act a little strange. People stop and take a look. Oh, you may not hop up one foot trying not to fall. You may not make your head bounce like a rubber ball. Instead of give me, give me, give me, give me lots of stuff. We share so everyone will have enough. When you learn to follow Jesus, you will act a little strange, act a little strange, act a little strange. When you learn to follow Jesus, you will act a little strange. People stop and take a look. You may not push your nose up, snorting like a pig. You may not turn around and dance a little jig. Instead of working, 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 working all the time, you know we even take a day of rest. Ah, when you learn to follow Jesus, you will act a little strange, act a little strange, act a little strange. When you learn to follow Jesus, you will act a little strange. People stop and take a look. You may not reach way up and balance on your toes. You may not stick your tongue out and try to touch your nose. No, you can do it. And when somebody makes us really, really, really mad, instead of getting even, we forgive. Cause when you learn to follow Jesus, you will act a little strange, act a little strange, act a little strange. When you learn to follow Jesus, you will act a little strange. People stop and take a look. Oh, when you learn to follow Jesus, you will act a little strange, act a little strange, act a little strange. When you learn to follow Jesus, you will act a little strange. People stop and take a look. All right.
our next song, we're going to shift gears and we're going to go way across the ocean and way down to the country of South Africa. And in South Africa, we are going to sing a song in the Zulu language. The Zulu language, or there's a very similar language called the Kosa. Kosa. They do a click language. Remember when we used to practice our little clicks? Kosa. Kosa. And they have a beautiful song from the, uh, from the Zulus. There's probably about 20 million people who grew up singing, I mean, grew up uh, talking Zulu and Kosa. So it's a, it's a big, uh, a lot of people sing, sing Zulu. And it's a beautiful language. Now, the words that are up there, just say them the way they show. And parents, you can help out here. It's phonetically written. And so it should be pretty easy. moms or anybody when I say mayen mayen ziwe ziwe tando ya ko come in with a nice bass part there that'd be nice okay you think we got that it's just the same line four times and then we're going to sing the English which mayen ziwe tando ya ko means your will be done on earth O Lord here we go My way, ya tol ya ko. My way, tando ya ko. My way, tando ya ko. My way, tando ya ko. My way, tando. Matthew and Hannah, let's have a few call-outs here. Dakota and Briggs. Hi, Hello. guys. Hello. Hi. 
We're so glad to know you're here. And Hannah, you are here. Thanks for helping with that and playing mm -hmm. percussion on that sing-along. Glad to know you're here too. And Matthew and Caleb and Mara, after a big and full week, we are glad that you are here joining us as well. And yes. to the rest of you who haven't texted in, we are also really glad that you're here. Let's start by reviewing the big story. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to go back to the, the question? Yeah. You have a thought on that question, don't you? So the okay. question was... question was... Stephen's last words before he dies are... Lord, do not hold this in against them. What does that remind you of, Zeth? Jesus, when he was on the cross. Yes. Yep. Those were Jesus' last words before mm -hmm. he died on the cross. Yep. Yep. All right. Ready for the big so story here? God created and it was good. good. Humans missed, missed the, the mark. mark. God stuck, stuck with, with them. them. God called a family. family. When the people became slaves, God sent Moses, Moses and delivered them. They learned to live in shalom, shalom community. community. They learned that there is only one, one God, God, and we love God. God with all our being. The people got to the promised, promised land, land, and they got in a cycle of missing, missing the, the mark. mark, and God sent judges. judges. God called Samuel, Samuel to be a prophet, but the people wanted a king. king, so Samuel anointed kings. But all the kings continued to miss, miss the, the mark. mark. And the kingdom divided into the north, Israel, Israel. and the south, Judah. Judah. God worked through prophets and stuck, stuck with, with the, the people, people, even as first the north and then the south kingdom fell to foreign superpowers. superpowers. Many of the people were captured and put into exile, exile, and others were left in the ruins of what had been their home. In exile, the people learned a lot. They learned how to worship, worship God. God. They learned about God's hope. hope. And after 70 years, the exiled people were allowed to return. They rebuilt Jerusalem, Jerusalem. and the temple. temple, and they waited for a Messiah. Messiah. God sent Jesus. Jesus, a baby Messiah who was announced by angels, angels. visited by shepherds, shepherds and, and magi, magi, and proclaimed by Simeon, Simeon and, and Anna. Anna. When Jesus' life was in danger, his parents fled with him to Egypt, Egypt and stayed there until it was time it's safe for them to return and settle in Nazareth. Nazareth. Jesus grew up in the wisdom of God, God and was baptized by his cousin, John. John. He called many disciples, disciples and named 12 apostles. apostles to join him in his work. Jesus taught what it means to live inside the blessing, blessing. at the heart of God. Jesus walked on water, water fed multitudes, multitudes, and welcomed children. children, and showed us how to love. love. Jesus entered Jerusalem, Jerusalem and was proclaimed as the Messiah. Messiah. He angered people with his teachings. He was arrested, and he was killed. The whole earth, earth trembled when Jesus died. His friends took care of his body, body and put him in a tomb, tomb and watched over him. The people of God had really missed, missed the, the mark, mark, but God stuck, stuck with, with them. them. God's love is stronger than death. death. Jesus rose, rose again. again. He walked and ate and talked with his friends, and then he ascended to heaven. heaven and told his disciples to wait, that they would receive power, power from the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. The Holy Spirit came upon them at Pentecost. Pentecost in a big way. The disciples testified to who Jesus was, and many believed, believed and became part of the new community, community sharing everything. everything they had and worshiping God together. And that brings us to today's story. So here's our micro song to introduce it. The so-called so freemen bring, bring a man, man named Stephen 
Before the Sanhedrin, as it's a fancy tells that story, which he ends with a challenge that they can't take. Rather they pick up stones and hate. Stephen sees Jesus and asks him not to charge his killers with their sin. So today's story is another one of those really hard stories. It's the first time that we hear about a follower of Jesus dying for his beliefs in Jesus. And Stephen was not the last one to have that happen. Many early Christians were persecuted and many were killed by the Roman government. Throughout history, people have died for what they believed and it still happens today in some places. We, as Mennonites, are part of a bigger Anabaptist group, the Anabaptist Church. And many early Anabaptists were also killed for their faith, too. You'll see an extra big, thick book up here. This is called, this, this book, called Martyr's Mirror, has stories of early people killed for their faith, early martyrs, like Stephen, from right after the time of Jesus, all the way up through the 1600s. So, and, it, and it's not even all of them. It's just a lot of within the Anabaptist tradition during those last couple hundred years. So like Stephen, at their death, they told about God's love and they told God's story and they sang songs of faith and they spoke forgiveness for the people who killed them. And like Stephen, they knew Jesus was with them at their death. One of the things that we've discovered here in the last several years is a kind of a martyr story within our family from Talasha's mom's side of the family. Zeph, do you remember that story? You want to tell, us, tell it to us? So one of our ancestors at the Kaim Castle. At the Toon Castle. No, the Toon Castle. Oh. In Toon, Switzerland. He, he refused to, to fight someone and he jumped over the wall. Mm -hmm. And to try to escape and get away. And he got really and he got hurt really badly when he fell down and he died of those injuries. Yeah. We learned that story right after we'd been to that castle where he was imprisoned and then forced to sword fight to the death and then jumped mm -hmm. to his own death. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that story from our family history and the story of Stephen give us a lot of questions oh, to think about. There was one other. Did you want to make another comment? You thought oh, of. Oh, yeah. So the first part of the story kind of relates to something. The first part of the, Steve, of the story of Stephen it had some similarities to Nelson Mandela. Yeah, Nelson mm -hmm. Mandela wasn't killed, but he was imprisoned yep. for speaking the truth to power. Yeah. <laughs> and so this and this story kind of oh. got really angry that Stephen spoke the truth. Yep. Yeah. They did. And they were, threatened and their they were power like, structures. Oh, yeah. God. So why is that? Malachi, there was a lot of questions that came up as we were talking about this story. What were some of them? Like, why did S Stephen die was one of the main ones, mm -hmm. because he hadn't really done anything. Um, another is, did Stephen answer the question that they asked him? Like, they basically asked him, did you do this? And then he responded with a history of basically the world. And, and that the, kind of he, gets a little weird and yeah. hard to understand. It, it is. Can. It's yep. very long and hard to understand. Yeah, we skipped mm -hmm. part of that. Yeah. <laughs> You'll see in your prompts some ideas of what to skip. Half. Yep. Yep. Go ahead. And then, um, why did he tell the story the way he told it? Mm -hmm. uh, was another. And yeah, I've got a. I have like a bunch more that I can think of. Yeah, those were just three of the main ones. Yep. We wrestled with it, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We noticed a similarity with Stephen's story in one of the Beatitudes. If you look up that last Beatitude, it says, um, 
Blessed are you when you are reviled and persecuted for righteousness sake for yours is the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. And it goes on a little bit. And actually, if you read Stephen's speech, there are a lot of parallels there. Stephen is someone who really lived life inside the blessing. And part of that was following Jesus to death and then to eternal life. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's interesting stuff. Let's see if we have any more call outs to do here. Um, Rose Widmer is joining. Hi, Rose. We're glad you're here with us. And yes, Jesus on the cross saying, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Yep, mm -hmm. that's what that, that line was from. Um, and one of the, the notes Actually, in... You think that'd be good if that was highlighted in the, that, you know, having a note in the margin would be helpful. In one of my yep. Bibles, there was a note in the margin about the similarity between Stephen's death and Jesus' death. Yep. Yeah. I think it's time to sing this big song. <coughs> so are you ready? Yes. This is the story of how it all began. God made matter and chaos shattered. Even Adam, they tried to hide. The world got violent and God replied with a mark and a flood and a rainbow sign. God's love written on skin and sky. Then God called a family to be a blessing to the earth. Ah, a mother and her favorite son wrestle for the blessing. Another son becomes a slave. The land is saved from famine. God's family grows. Egypt oppresses. They groan to God. And God sends Moses. Ten strange signs say, please release them. By the sea, God saves them. Oh, the people complain. And God rains bread. Daily food and ten new rules. Five sisters come and ask for land. God says yes, amend the law. Moses says in your new life across the Jordan, love God with your whole heart and with all your being and your strength. Now listen, God is one, only God. God is one, only God. Cross over Jordan, stories and stones, circuits and shouts, and the walls come down. God sends judges like Deborah, and the land has rest. Ruth's worth more than seven sons, redeemed the lost with steadfast love. Corruption in the temple, and God sends Samuel. God gives them a prophet, they ask for a king. Does God need a temple? A wise king forgets, and when a bully rules the land, the nation tears apart and loses David's heart. Through a widow's gift and a prophet's cry, God brings life in desperate times. Josiah reads a misplaced scroll. He turns to God wholeheartedly, like, like David, David did <clears throat> in his time. God gives Jeremiah a picture of God's ruined family. Is there any hope left? Is there any hope left? Is there any hope left for you? Jerusalem, any hope? Any hope left? Is there any hope left for you, Jerusalem? By the streams of Babylon, how can we sing when you are gone? Jerusalem, Jerusalem, I'm in a valley of human bones. These bones are Israel, God's breath is hope. Haman plans death for Esther's exiles. She risks her life so they might survive. Finally, God's family rebuilds a temple in Jerusalem. God plunges them into a sea of joy and celebration of only God. God is one, only God. 
comfort to Jerusalem, your warfare finally ceases. Matthew lists these generations, Abraham to Jesus. The angel says you'll have a son, and God will give him David's throne. Mary says, God looked at me, now I'm the luckiest person around. Mary, now a pregnant fiancé, makes a grueling journey. She has a baby, shepherds see angels, declaring God's glory and peace among people. The spirits and shepherds and elders and prophets to tell those who wait their Messiah has come. Herod gets nervous, the Magi find Jesus. They hide their discovery and hurry back home. Once again an angel comes to Joseph, so they make good their escape. Oh, Jesus in the temple, astonishing the crowd. Jesus with his parents, Jesus growing up. Down by the Jordan with the prophet John, Jesus asked to be baptized. And the skies are opened, a dove descends. A voice from heaven says, this is my son, the son I love. I'm pleased with him. Jesus calls disciples to be with him in the work he's doing. Oh. Jesus teaches the disciples, this is life inside the blessing. You're blessed, you who are empty, you're blessed, all you who mourn. You're blessed, you who ache for God, whose inner life is pure. This is life inside the blessing. Jesus walks on the water. Peter tries and begins to sink. Jesus grabs his hand and the wind dies down. Jesus sees the crowds with compassion, so he teaches them for days and days. The people are hungry, there's baskets left over, and no one left out. People bring their children to Jesus. Jesus blesses them and says you must accept God's good government like a little child would or you won't get at all. Oh, what's most important? Love God with everything and love your neighbor, whoever that may be. Jesus tells Martha, you're upset about many things, just one thing's essential. It's what Mary's choosing here. Life inside the blessing. Life inside the blessing. Save now, David's son rides on a donkey. He will judge nations, separate the sheep from goats. In the garden, Jesus prays. Yes, Father, if there's no other way. Jesus dies, the veil rips, surely this was God's kid. Mary is crying, the tomb is empty. Jesus meets her and speaks her name. Jesus appears to many of his close friends, breaks bread with them, shows them his scarred hands. While he blesses them, he's carried up to heaven. After the Aster to wait in Jerusalem, together in one place, sound of wind and tongues of fire. The place where they're praying, shaken, and everyone's filled with God's breath. They have one heart and soul, and no one claims for themselves alone what they own. Stephen sees Jesus and asks him not to charge his killers with their sin. With their sin. Because God loves every one of us, it's true, and God loves the universe. Up about 
three quarters of song and story. Three quarters of song and story yeah, might maybe. be the big song. It's getting well, long. Well, you know, it's a it's a story that's worth telling. Yep. So that's, that's all right. That's what Stephen thought. That's what Stephen thought. That's right. We hope you have a great week. See you next See week. See you next week.